people out there that they do got fetish problems. everyone and welcome back to my channel my name is elena for those of you who don't know me bienvenidos a mi canal for today's video we are back at it again today is the second episode of dating while fat so make sure you grab a drink and if you haven't joined me in the first episode of dating all fat i'll be be sure to put it up here so you guys can review it first before you see this second episode now before we get started you already know make sure you grab your drink this drink is similar like last time we had a sparkling ice, vodka, and blue carousel. So for today's drink, we used the sparkling ice. This one is the classic lemonade, no sugar added, and it's about five, it's not even about, it is just five calories for this whole bottle. Now I only used half of this bottle for this drink. I used about, I don't know measuring right now but <laughs> i think i post i put about this much of vodka just this much and a little bit of carousel and here we have my magical drink and let me just say it's so good you have the lemonade and then you have the flavor of the blue um carousel plus you have vodka you guys already know if you <laughs> i'm not such a fan of alcohol I like to be as less calories as possible just because why do I want to eat and drink all this sugar? No, when I could be eating food food. I'd rather eat food food and get that sugar if I wanted to <laughs> with solid foods than that. So make sure you grab your drink. You won't want to sip on a few of these topics we'll be discussing today. I listened. You guys loved the first episode, which I'm so thankful for because I was so nervous. You guys don't understand. I was so nervous. And I've said it through the video. I was so nervous even posting it. It actually took me about a month or two months for me to even post it because I was nervous. I was nervous because I didn't know how it would go. So I'm so glad that I've got positive feedback from you guys. Actually, you guys reaching out saying that you've had similar situations of dating a skinny guy and how it's been going for you, things that you have gone through as being plus size, as being fat, and then dating someone skinny. So thank you guys for sharing in the comment section. I hope you guys continue to share um, and engage with me because I think it's really important for us to continue to talk about this because it is a topic that, you know, we're fearful about it because it's like a touchy subject. And then also it really is on a personal level because it's your love life and it is a love life that... You don't want people to be in your business but at the same time it's like i go through this and there's so many other people that are probably going through this that let's talk about it because i think it's some things are normal some things are just like eh. so it's really good for us to talk about it so if you guys have any requests or things to talk about put it in the comments section i want to actually address a couple things that um there was comments from the previous video let me drink though because <laughs> I need a drink. Last time I wasn't drinking. This time I'm going to drink. I think I was too nervous to drink. Now I'm not that nervous. So I'm like, I'll sip. So definitely try this out if you have not tried out with sparkling ice. I love sparkling ice. There was a time that I stopped drinking soda for a long time when I was just losing weight and so on. And obviously it was about like two years of not drinking soda. <laughs> Goodness. Um, getting back into it again where you're trying to limit your soda intake. This is when sparkling soda has been saving my life, sparkling ice, because I've gotten so used to getting back to drinking soda that I'm just like trying to kick it out again. So the only way that I could try to kick it out is making small changes is that drinking the sparkling ice soda. So let's get back to topic but i wanted to share that with you guys so i'm going to quickly talk about a couple things that were brought up and yeah questions that you guys had and then we'll discuss about some new things um dating while fat okay 
And before I get started, I hope you're doing okay. I hope you're staying safe and staying focused on your self-love, body confidence, and being positive because it's a crazy harsh world out there and it's really important for us to continue to love ourselves and continue to remain positive during these dark times. Oh my gosh, it's been like a month. It's been a month since I posted. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I'm just going to do a little shout out. So shout out to Jen Nicole for loving my video and perfect, perfectly imperfect, giving super kind words. Shout out to you. I did like comment to everybody. Brenda Zamora, shout out to you. Thank you for sharing um, your comment. Girl, you know, let me share a little bit of this. Come here. Come, come, come closer. Okay. All right. I'm closer. So... Okay, you shared about this, about like feeling judgment and so on. For me, I think I was the one, I'm pretty sure it was me. Yeah, I was the one that brought it up with my family. I was like, I don't know, like he's just skinny and I'm like a whole lot of this. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm the one that brought it up. I don't know if yours was a similar situation or what it was, but I don't think I felt judged with my family. I think I quickly judged myself and our image of how we looked as a couple that I brought it up. So I wanted to talk about that. It's like, why is it that we as plus size women decide that we have to make it known that, hey, he's skinny? Like, why? Why do we do that? Why did I do that? I, I, I think back and so on. It's just because maybe not used to it maybe because you don't see a representation of it um maybe because in my family i don't have a representation of it i'm trying to like think back like i know with my parents everybody was always skinny at some point and then they got bigger or they were skinny together and then they got bigger together or so on like you know what i mean so I don't know why I brought it up because I feel like because I'm definitely bigger and he's skinnier that I'm the one that brought it up. But it's just important for us to like kind of step back. That's like stop trying to put the physical appearance as something of an importance. Yes, physical attraction to me, it's physical attraction. It's about chemistry. It's about what you feel with the opposite sex or what that person that you're actually having feelings towards if it's the same sex you know it's the same thing you have that physical connection with that person so the physical part is not as important but we make it important in a way so i wanted to bring that up just so you know i wanted to bring that up because it was something but thank you for sharing samantha shout out to you she said thank you for being so open and real that she's gone through similar situation similar situations Ugh, la pincha lengua so and then yes it's me again she had a lot to say um she or he sorry i don't know it just says yes it's me again i had a lot to say and which is really pretty interesting and good points that i want to talk about and we'll get back to it um juana la cubana um i love this because she was like she loves skinny men that it's a perfect 10 what the one and then the zero <laughs> i thought that was awesome and it helped me a little bit i felt i felt good after reading that i was like oh so sweet um so yes it's me again thank you for bringing these top um bringing these comments because it's like i didn't think about certain things and it was important to think think about certain things that you mentioned and one of the things that I talked about is why is it as plus size women you mentioned that we get so offended when men are only exclusive to plus size plus size women so i personally i can only speak for myself but i don't get offended um when a guy's only looking for a plus size woman unless unless so unless that person like constantly brings up my size that's when i get offended i know from the past um i'm a 90s baby i'm a 90s kid i know back then chat rooms were like a hot thing i don't know if it still is but back then i was a plus size girl i was insecure and i remember showing pictures of just my face 
just my face my beautiful face not showing really my body because i was self-conscious and i didn't have that confidence to show my whole body and i remember guys hitting me up and like specifically wanting to see my body because obviously as much as we try to hide it back then as much as i try to hide it back then i was a big girl you know you could see it in my face and i think i would get offended more because them constantly saying stuff about being big girl if they they want a big girl um they find that attractive and f, f skinny girls and stuff like that and it's like that's the part that i would get offensive is like so would you like me if i was skinny so you wouldn't like me if i was skinny that is a part where i just like there's like a boundary and there's a barrier right there where it's like si se pasa it's like ill no if not if he stays to his lane of you know certain things like i don't get offended like guys like big girls good same thing how girls like skinny got big girls like skinny guys or so on like it's each to her own liking for me it's all personal about physical physical attraction i like the physical attraction but also the person and the personality behind it and if that person makes me laugh which my man makes me laugh which i love so um another thing is why are people calling it fetish um i think it really just depends who it is that's calls it a fetish it's not a fetish to me uh, we're human being we are adults if you guys are younger um there will come to a point where you'll see and you'll understand that the world is a bunch of crazy <laughs> the world is a bunch of crazy and there's so much that people put into other people's minds and and doesn't allow you to be open-minded and then when you're open-minded there's so much beyond what's existing in your world and i think what it has to do with that with being fetishes i really don't think i think yes there's people that can have fetishes yes there's people that are like super gross about it but I wouldn't call it a fetish because we're just human beings when you get to be an adult when you get to be a certain age you're just you're just looking for someone to love you're just looking for somebody to be with and live a life together because as much as you want to and you can live a life by yourself which i can but it's it feels so much nicer when you have somebody with you to uplift you and help you so i don't consider it a fetish but there is people out there that they do got fetish problems um another thing <clears throat> so good um so i actually decided to do a poll on instagram we're gonna go to that real quick and i didn't get much people but it's okay <clears throat> I, it's fine i'm going to go through the people that i did get, uh, the person the person shout out to you beautiful because you were a trooper and answered these questions <laughs> um everyone else why didn't you answer hmm? okay so let's go back to my archives oh i have memories from two years ago oh i look so cute i need to share this look how cute i look my phone's kind of oh why do i look so cute <laughs> i'm sharing this i just look too adorable that people need to be reminded the first thing is why are plus size women offended when they are uh, only exclusive to plus size women and this person said i think all men are attractive but it's just what society or friends says that hold us back i agree i think there's a little bit of influential with society but also because society has influenced our friends and our families and society influences so many people that's when it becomes a thing that we overthink that oh how can this person like me or love me because i'm fat so we gotta remind ourselves that we are beautiful regardless of our size and that being plus size the physical appearance changes like i can, uh, how many times like i will have to say this i will say this until the day i'm gone diosito takes me because he's done it almost once but he didn't take <laughs> me so um i will still say this like our beauty it's inside and it, it it outshines outside but the beauty inside is what makes it super super count our body changes i have lost so much weight and i've put on weight and 
it's different when you don't love and accept yourself and it's different when you change your mindset like if you're so about losing weight and you're not loving yourself like what the crap is that for why even lose the weight and the same thing with your plus size like if you pl if you're plus size and you hate yourself but you you and you're just not changing or working towards yourself and improving yourself like why are you going to still stick to the same routines and the same person that you are i think we have to uplift ourselves and work towards ourselves our physical appearance will change at some point we're going to get old and wrinkly <laughs> next one same thing these are the questions and the comments that was done from yes it's me again so when do you categorize someone as a chubby chaser i asked and um the response was chasing any girl that's not average like ig models thick now i don't really agree with this but i'm like trying to think about it the way you're trying to answer it um so when is someone categorized as a chubby chaser any chasing any girl that is not average like ig models maybe you're trying to say it in a different way because when i would categorize a chubby chaser maybe it's someone specifically specifically looking for someone with that ideal body as a big girl specifically but like chasing any girl that is not the average but any girl i don't think so because any girl could be an average looking girl skinny girl thick girl but not everybody's interested in ig models so i'm a little confused with that if you want to if you're here on it if you are here on youtube elaborate on that please but i think someone that's a chubby chaser is someone that's specifically hunting down us big girls like they finding us that like oh my gosh i think on tiktok i saw there was like an ad for big girls app like for big girls or skinny guys looking for big girls and i'm like they're going through my algorithm of plus size <laughs> or something. I'm like, oh, hell no. That's when I feel like someone's a chubby chaser. When they're on that app looking for big girls. That's what I hate when it's categorized. I remember as a teenager feeling like I needed to be in those specific categories in order for me to meet somebody. I hate those shits. Sorry, but I hate them. Like, just meet someone because you want to meet someone. Okay, next one. And I did a poll. Um, is it a fetish dating a big woman? When do you say it's a fetish? And 18% said yes. <laughs> Just kidding. And 82% no, it's not a fetish. So who said yes? It was only two people. <laughs> two people said it is a fetish when they're um, dating a big girl. I disagree boo boo I disagree it's a fetish when they're like hunting a big girl <laughs> um, when they're like doing their homework their tarea like esta, esta chica está super grande XL doble X 18 um, so yeah and no for nine people and they're like no it's not a fetish so thank you for your response truly valued all right, so we talked about that, just elaborating a little bit from episode one, uh, you know, dating skinny dudes, like, how is it going? You could tell I'm drinking today. Okay, so remember the time that I told you about, if you haven't seen this, go back to episode one, go back. But remember the time I shared with you about my boyfriend and how i felt a little judgy but there were certain things said and like i said on a personal level level that i obviously don't want to share super details oh i can't even talk super details but i shared as much as i could and as much as i wanted to because it's important for us to set boundaries within ourselves um now ever since i talked about that not a peep in sound <laughs> he hasn't brought it up he again like i mentioned he has apologized since then um our relationship has actually gotten stronger um elaborating and talking and communicating about it and 
telling him how I felt and him like, well, I didn't mean it that way. I think that's so important that we actually talk to our partners or anyone that we are dating. We talk about it because even though you might have that fear that, oh crap, he's not going to like me after this or oh crap, like what's going to happen? We need to discuss certain things that bother us and we need to discuss the facts that because you're a big girl, you are going to identify different things differently than when you were skinny or if you were ever skinny or if you are skinny, you are gonna identify it differently. So I'm glad that I talked about it. We haven't talked about it since then. He's respected what I've said. He's been supportive and he's obviously just, he's being there for me, which is good. Um, I think it's kind of funny I think it's kind of funny because there's certain things that as a big girl I think I notice more <laughs> I think I notice more and I like I don't care about the appearance of going out any like it's weird cuz okay so uh, confession time uh, confession are you ready so my first boyfriend guy that I dated him was older he was 15 years older than me you guys are probably like jaw drop <laughs> um yeah so he was 15 years older 15 years older than me um i'm not gonna get into that relationship <clears throat> but my point is that i like older men um that wasn't intentional though for me to like an older man it just happened and it's it's odd to me because with older men too because my current man is how six years older than me i think he's six years older than me uh double check it's interesting because i'm i'm kind of used to dating older men <laughs> but i feel like it's always the same when it has to do with men and the opposite sex like you know things and you know things and you see things and you see things um and when you're dating someone older it's the same thing um they don't see or specifically look to hunt down a big girl they're looking and not everybody of course but they're looking for someone that to love and there's someone to you know settle down with for some people not everybody because there's guys that are not looking to settle down they're just looking for <clears throat> little aventuras but <laughs> like i said i ain't getting into that but um same thing when you're like dating someone older i'm hot now like i'm i'm talking about certain things <laughs> same thing when the guy's older you notice certain things and same thing when you're bigger and you're dating someone skinny like someone's looking for someone that's specifically for their person not their physical appearance but of course because you're a big girl you have that in your head because you're a big girl you've gone through those experiences and so on so you have to make it aware of certain things that they're saying that might be sensitive and might be offensive um not cool so one thing i wanted to um talk about a little bit with dating while fat and dating while fat dating a skinny guy um is the level of him with his confidence that he can pick me up <clears throat> have you guys ever dealt with that your skinny guy picking you up yeah <laughs> now it was a holiday weekend we had a beautiful picnic we're at a um, little river. We had pizza. We had wine. It was so freaking cute. I have my little cute little basket and everything. And he has a truck. So I have to like get my shorts. Ugh, I'm short. So I have to get my short self up and sit on this truck because we're sitting in the back. <sighs> He's like, I'm like, I can't, I can't get up because he put the bed down and I'm like, I can't get in here. Like you need to put it back so I can like step over and get in he's like no i'll pick you up and i'm like pick me up what the heck you can't pick this up <laughs> uh i weigh a lot like i've gained weight and i'm like i said i'm getting back into fitness but you know i've gained weight and i'm like are you sure 
he's like yeah and i'm like oh my gosh babe no like no stop and you know what he does he he picks me up he picks me up and i could hear it and i can i can hear it and i'm like yo he's like oh my gosh babe you do weigh and i'm just like oh my gosh how many times i've been trying to tell you that yes i weigh a shit ton like i've gained weight like i weigh 230 ish plus pounds like even though i'm short i'm 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 heavy so it was hilarious number one he was a girl he picked me up he picked me up with that short amount of time he picked me up and he was like oh my gosh you do weigh and I'm like, no shit. Um, has your man ever tried to pick you up? Or your woman tried to pick you up for being big? Like, I think he was trying to do something cute to pick me up and put me on the truck. Which, no offense to that. Like, pick me up. Like, you know what I mean? But I, I don't know. Because I'm a big girl, I was like, no, don't pick me up. Like, I'm glad he did. Because I'm like, yeah, pick this up pick this ass up see if you can he proved me wrong he picked me up but then i'm like the part of like when i know you were gonna pick me up it was gonna be hard that's something i didn't want to deal with too like i didn't want to deal with him being like oh my gosh babe you weigh heavy but he did say it because is the truth like this isn't like a piece of paper to pick up like this is whole body with fat so I, I found it interesting. Have you guys ever had to deal with that with the guy wanting to pick you up and he does and picks you up? I mean, we have been dating for a while now, so I already have that confianza with him. I'm really comfortable with him. So like, I just laugh about it and I'm like, well, I told you, you shouldn't have picked me up. But if it was like us starting out my ass would nah, nah, never let him pick me up. I would have not let him pick me up. I'm like, no, 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 no. Have you ever dealt with that on a first date or even a, f I mean, of course that didn't happen to me first date, but have you ever dealt with that in the beginning of first dating? Like, guy picking you up? <laughs> Sucks for his back. <laughs> Ain't my back. <laughs> I'm so horrible. Um, but everything has been going good other than that and then okay i don't know if i want to get into a top well you guys let me know maybe i can make a full episode dedicated to this but sex <laughs> dating while fat sex edition the reality is like there are some things as a big girl that we deal with when it has to do with intimacy and i've gained more weight than what i have in a while and i was talking talking with my sister i was like yo like is this normal <laughs> i was like uh girl she's like you lo you gained a lot of weight so you're fine but yes and i was like okay so if you guys want to talk if you guys want me to share about this Obviously, there's going to be limits and boundaries, but I think we should talk about it because it is something about being plus size in dating that maybe gets hidden in the shadows. But I mean, everyone loves sex, too. So let me know in the comments. But that's something that I want to talk about. But I want to like ask you guys first before I even decide to talk about that topic, because I mean, I'm adult. We're all adults here. If you're not an adult, what are you doing here? <laughs> But <laughs> you shouldn't be here if you're not an adult. <laughs> but yeah, it's something that I want to discuss. Pinche calor que tengo aquí. It's because of the light. Um, it's annoying. Another thing dating while fat that I've noticed that's a little different than dating regular. So, so far things have been going good. I haven't really had much complaints because... I mean, as a Latina, I always complain about certain things. <laughs> as a woman in general, not even just as a Latina, I complain about certain things. But honestly, things have been going so well. But I do think that sometimes it's hard to communicate to your partner about certain things when they can't fully relate um, because they're not big. And I just want to remind you guys that 
just because we're big, that doesn't mean that we have to settle. That doesn't mean that we have to categorize into specific things like these apps that are people are trying to promote us because they think that no one's going to want us other than people that are attracted to fat girls or big girls. Like, don't settle for that. The person that you're about to date or the person that you're bound to be with will be with you because they love you, not because of your physical appearance. Our shapes are different. We have the body. Some people like, some people don't like, and that's on them. But then on the day, as we get older, as we get wiser, it's not even about physical appearance. It's about who we are as individuals, as human beings. I just did this video. You better follow me on TikTok if you're not following me on TikTok because you're getting daily affirmations from me and you need to be reminded that you're beautiful regardless, okay? Beautiful regardless of your physical appearance. So this is a little different. This isn't, I'm going to add this because it's part of dating, but it's not part of being fat. Okay, just not. But I want to add this too just because it's part of dating. So we'll add this too. So I speak Spanish and that was how I was able to communicate with my current man he speaks spanish he's from a different part of where i'm from my family's from mexico and he's from el salvador and i grew up in u.s i've learned spanish throughout the years i actually start learning more spanish when i started dating um when i started dating but anyways yeah, that's when i started learning more spanish my spanish is not the best but I can communicate there's my vocabulary is limited but it's because i was i learned spanglish together and it was, was kind of hard to transition doing just spanish and english separating versus putting spanglish together so i i've come to a point where i do break it up now and it's easier for me to break it up versus when back then it was just spanglish but my vocabulary is limited but also my spanish espanol is different than his spanish certain things that he say is so different i'm like what the fudge are you saying like popote for me a straw popote him is like sorbet or some shit like, that. like sorbetuda or i don't know something like that anyways lately i've been like we still communicate and so on but we do struggle about that we struggle about that like him saying like oh like uh certain words and he's like you don't know spanish the way you're supposed to know i'm like bitch i know my spanish and if we're together you can still communicate anyways so <laughs> i wanted to mention that do you guys struggle with dating somebody that is spanish that speaks spanish but it's from a different country like there's different words if you guys do put in the comments below if you've never experienced that like it's so odd because I want to say something since some of my vocabulary is limited it's even worse because I'm trying to tell him something and he's like what are you saying or he's like trying to tell me something and I'm like what are you saying <laughs> so I wanted to talk about that and oh my gosh one last thing before I wrap this up because it's so long um <coughs> excuse me I did drink this time all right again I think it's because of being plus size I notice things or I'm just like you don't think I know as a big girl you don't think I know so all right he he's so sweet he's helping me fix the third floor and the third floor is getting fixed um, for my room my studio space like reviews will be better because I know reviews aren't the best because of my limited space but I'll have more space but he's been such a adoring beautiful man helping fix every weekend and um and so on so like but this is the third floor now mind you guys I live in a state where we have houses that ha like have third floor floors like they're they're you have to walk up <laughs> I'm not lazy, but damn, <laughs> like I get so tired going up into the third floor and it's hot as shit up there because 
they're still doing the remodeling and we have to play the acs we have to put the fans like it's hot the higher you get and since because these are older houses the worse it is but so i'm gonna mention this because i'm gonna put them on the spot whatever one day baby if you see this i'm sorry but is the truth this is how i'm feeling right now i'm going up there constantly because he's obviously he's helping me and stuff like that and i'm taking him his drinks and stuff like that and for him to drink or whatever and i'm like damn like should i gotta do to come all the way up here <laughs> he's like para que quemas calorías so you can burn calories and i'm like say that to me again burn calories hmm and that's where my big girl plus size girl comes in and i'm like bitch what are you trying to say what are you trying to say that is where i come in and i'm just like para que me digas eso like and but then i'm like you know what elena let him say what he wants to say like let's see what he says let's just see what he says and he just says yeah babe so you can bring calories and i'm like looking at him like I was supposed to go to the gym that day and he's like why go to the gym when you could burn calories here going up and down the steps and i'm looking at him like it's not the same thing it's not the same thing because i'm actually releasing the endorphins and i'm actually working on something and doing and he yo <laughs> working on building muscles the other day he was saying how like i'm more like muscular than him like i have muscles like i'm more like built and i'm like good and he's like don't do that babe and i'm like no I will keep doing what I'm doing. I've done this before. You worry about you yourself. I worry about myself. You stay in your lane. I stay in my lane. <laughs> but why do we get offended? Why do I get offended by it? But anyways, I rubbed it off. I was like, whatever. I guess I won't go to the gym today because I'm going to go up and down these steps. Anyways, even though I really wanted to go and just leave him here by himself. But what kind of girlfriend would I be if I left him by himself? But then I really was going to do it. But, but I couldn't. Um that was something i wanted to bring up too like i think it's because being as a big girl you realize those things and you're just like automatically alert 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 when in his eyes it could be different it could be like you w said you wanted to go to the gym but you're working out here anyways you're sweating what's the point of going to the gym i don't know it's a hot mess but i wanted to share that with you guys <laughs> i hope you guys enjoyed this video i didn't have really much to talk about today but there's some things that i obviously at some point are going to be eventually come up um and we're going to be talking about in the future if you guys have any requests anything that you want to share put in the comments below don't forget to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed already and look at me i'm almost done my drink i'll finish it for you guys again don't forget how beautiful you are continue self-love if you like today's makeup inspired lately i've been like leaving myself go like i'm like oh no who are you i was inspired by lucero mireya because they've been doing their makeup and i'm just like elena get on the train do your makeup just do it if you like this makeup and the eyeshadow i have a video i'll be posting it soon so you guys can check out how i created this look and also just hear me ranting <laughs> i'm gonna be talking about makeup and confidence together so again love yourself any requests let me know don't forget how beautiful and amazing you are i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of dating while fat stay tuned for the next episode until next time bye guys